massive poverty issue going to come in the UK. I've lived in the East End of London since I was born. In the 80s, people were starting walking around with mobile phones, great big machines around their ears, you know. It was just incredible sizes. And I never really took much notice because I didn't think it was applicable to me. When I realized I had to leave Nigeria was when I organized what is now known as Nigeria's first ever month-long Pride protest. Hi, it's Joel, and this is the first gay Pride parade in Nigeria. And no one's gonna rent rain on the our... The UK was kind of like a breath of fresh air. It meant safe haven for me. But that wasn't all the way the reality because um, upon arrival, I was placed in a detention center. They took my phone away. It just felt like my power was taken away. Digital connection for us is really important. It is our life. I'm bedroom bound, have been for 11 years. My main fear about the cost of living rising is that we won't be able to afford anything. And we won't have the internet and we'll just about be able to survive and eat. I lost my husband last year. I didn't have digital things to go online to get a death certificate. I didn't have the chance of saying goodbye, in a sense. I feel vulnerable because I feel as though somebody could scam me. I do miss that as a community, you know, to be with other people. As an asylum seeker, we're pushed further into several layers of limbo, from digital, mental, physical. Everyone is head down in their own bubble. I wish they could see I'm not okay, I need help. I was introduced into something called Night Star. During the day you're homeless and then at night or during the evening time someone would give you a call. I remember nights where my phone went off. Basically you'd be homeless for that night. You can only maybe sleep in the bus if you're lucky again. No, 
I've lost all the physical friends that I had. Being online as a mum, it was just so good to be able to have other mothers being online is the only group of like-minded people that I have anymore. We've come through this world, and we? we've done quite a few things, gone through quite a lot. And just hope that you know that somebody will just think of us. My my grandchildren they live quite a distance, 300 miles away. I'm needing some form of communication. I am an activist now. Phone and digital connection and digital devices is, is power. Digital space creates that extension to reach more people and galvanize activism and social justice and causes. If digital equity was a thing and a reality for all of us, then everyone's voices would matter. <laughs>